What's up guys, Viv here with another Quest for Legendary video, this time the topic being Obsidian Shards and Mystic Clovers and Karma. Okay, so uh, every Legendary has two components it requires, one being the Gift of Mastery and the other Gift of Fortune. Uh, now Gift of Mastery requires that you have 250 Obsidian Shards, and the Gift of Fortune requires that you uh, have 77 Mystic Clovers. Uh, the catch being though that these mystic clovers require that you have obsidian shards. Now there are two ways to get these obsidian shards, one of them from the Fractals of the Mist uh, vendor here, Talk to me. which uh, at the end of each fractal in this dungeon you get fractal relics and then you come to this vendor in the lab uh, and you buy the obsidian shards that way. Or the other way is to get them with karma. Now the 250 shards you need for the Gift of Mastery cost 525,000 karma but the shards you need for Mystic Clovers vary, uh, but you'll probably need around 400 to 500,000 karma for those as well. There are a variety of different ways to get karma. Uh, the one you're seeing here is if you prefer PvP, you can go to World vs. World and get supply camps and guard posts and stuff. In the Borderlands maps with a couple people, you can get a decent amount of karma that way. But the better way to actively farm karma is to come to Straits of Devastation, start at the Tugra Waypoint, you go up through this area here to this uh, building, there's a veteran in there that you kill, then you go over to the Monastery area. Uh, there's two events here, one to kill Risen Wizards and then a Champion Risen Wizard, and then another to defend the Asura from a bunch of adds. Once you do that, you come up to this area, you kill a veteran here, um, and then you go down through here and sometimes right here there's an event to kill a bunch of turrets that are attacking a chopper. Uh, do that if it's up, if not just go on and then you come to the champion risen giant, uh, use grenade kits off the NPC and uh, kill him. Then you come down here there's a packed chopper that's downed on the ground, you revive the NPCs then kill a bunch of adds. Uh, then you come here and kill one more veteran and then go across the bridge, kill the last veteran and then you teleport back and start over again. This rewards quite a bit of karma and offers a guaranteed path unlike any other zone. Does you can also now passively farm that? karma I'd through no daily and monthly subject, achievements which reward jugs of karma. Uh, you can use these jugs of karma more. with a karma booster to get even more to karma. Uh, per month you can get around 250,000 like karma just from doing this. Now once you've gotten 500,000 karma or roundabout it's time to do the Temple of Balthazar event. Uh, it starts off with three escorts going from these three areas to the Rally Waypoint. And from the Rally Waypoint, uh, all the NPCs gather and head out to Temple of Balthazar to retake it. Okay, uh, when you get to the Temple of Balthazar, you have to fight a champion th risen priest that hurts a lot. <laughs> but uh, one of the best ways to deal with him is... Um, you can do this trick where you go to the Champion Risen Giant event and get the grenade kit from the NPC and then run back, uh, join everyone else and use that grenade kit on him. It does tons of damage. If a lot of people do this, it becomes a lot easier to kill him. But everyone that's fighting him has to keep reviving and running back and potentially getting the grenade kits if they can. Now once you kill the Risen Priest, there'll be a vendor that spawns in that area where you can buy the Obsidian Shards for 2100 Karma apiece. Now once you've bought a lot of these Obsidian Shards from the vendor, you can begin making Mystic Clovers. And the Mystic Clover uh, has two different recipes that use the Mystic Forge. Uh, both recipes have a random chance at giving Clovers, yeah, but they nice might price. also give things like Orichalcum Ingots, or, or Ectoplasm, or more Obsidian Shards or mystic coins, or ancient planks, or gossamer bolts, or any of the tier 6 crafting materials like uh, powerful blood, or armored scales. Sometimes it gives things like destroyer lodestones and stuff like that. So basically you get a bunch of random crap that you need to make the legendary anyways. Um, and the recipes, there's two different recipes. Ah, one of them requires nothing. that you use one of each component but yields only one of something that I just mentioned and the other is one that uses re requires 10 of each component but also yields 10 of something. Uh, I prefer the one by one recipe because it feels like less of a gamble and yields closer to the average number of clovers you should get uh, based off how much karma you have. Um, but anyways, choose whichever one you, you'd prefer. Uh, the 10 by 10 recipe is 
10 obsidian shards, 10 ectoplasm, 10 mystic coins, and 10 crystals. Uh, the crystals you get from Miani at the Mystic Forge. Uh, the one by one recipe is one obsidian shard, one ectoplasm, one mystic coin, and five philosopher stones. Uh, the philosopher stones you get from Miani at the Mystic Forge. Uh, once you get all 77 of your mystic clovers, you can stop finally yeah, doing that recipe and rejoice <laughs> and uh, begin collecting your 250 shards for your gift of mastery. Uh, you can choose however you want to do it at that point. You might have leftover obsidian shards, uh, and that makes it a lot easier. I had 85 left over when I was done making my Mystic Clovers. Uh, and It'll after you nice do that, you can passively farm while you're trying to farm all the rest of your stuff for your Legendary by just doing your achievements once a day. Or you can try to all-out farm it uh, in one of the other methods. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative and helpful. And, uh... If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.